Over the past 30 years, Shanghai has been a model of China's reform and opening up, said President Xi Jinping at the Grand Gathering Thursday morning. So what's next for the Pudong district and the city? One of the key focuses for the future of Pudong is innovation, ones that benefit the nation's needs and people's health. In the 30 years of Pudong's development and opening up, the area followed a path of liberation of minds and deepening reforms. It followed a path of embracing the world and expanding its opening up. It also followed a path of breaking outmoded rules and upholding innovation. He said that the objective is to achieve breakthroughs in core technologies, apply them to economic production and ultimately form world-class industrial clusters. Now, high hopes have been placed in sectors such as integrated circuits, biomedicine and artificial intelligence. Among the industry leaders gathered at the event was Gerald Yin, the chairman and CEO of Shanghai-based Advanced Microfabrication Equipment China, or AMEC. In July last year, the company listed on the newly launched Star Market, a new board in Shanghai that provides registration-based listing, helping high-tech companies like AMEC secure vital funding. Before we listed, it was very difficult to secure fundings. We had to go from funds to funds to find financiers that understood and had confidence in this industry. Now they have more resources to produce their precision machines, which are used to make things like semiconductor chips. President Xi also talked about continuing policy reforms that attract more international talents into Pudong. It's important for many companies in the area with diverse workforce. Looking into the future, we have solid evidence to believe that in China's development cause in the new era, Shanghai will continue to make new miracles to surprise the world and exhibit new momentum as an important part of China's construction of a modern socialist country. President Xi said the world is going through seismic once-in-a-century changes and it's imperative that Pudong's development help the country achieve the dual circulation development pattern. Now this refers to the domestic economic cycle playing a leading role while the international economic cycle supplements it. Yang Chongxi, CGTN, Shanghai.